Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Deke J. Wilson STEM video. Uh, so the last time that we left off, we uh, were working on this garage here in SketchUp. I want to show you that SketchUp is a really pretty cool tool. Um, so what I want to do is I want to insert uh, a, another image. Now, uh, SketchUp has what is called a 3D warehouse. And if you click on here on these three uh, boxes over here, these components, you can click up here and search a 3D warehouse. And what's cool is you can put things into your home so that you don't have to design them. So just say if I was looking for furniture, let me see, Let's do a search on a couch, okay? And what I can do is it will show me all of the different couches that are available. Um, and what I could do is um, I'm going to click on this one right here. And notice it grabs a house, I mean, it grabs a couch, and I can put that into my model. So I'm going to click right there. I'm going to use my hand tool because to orient myself how I want. Okay. Now, there's a few things that you can do. Obviously, this is not going to be the size of the couch. So therefore, if I wanted to decrease the size of the house, I want to click on this tool, and I'm going to click here and start to scale it down. If I grab, one of the best things to do is when you're scaling things, grab them from one of the corners. Don't grab them from the sides, because if you grab them from the sides, right, it might shrink it in a way that you don't want. So if you grab it from the corners, it shrinks it much more proportionally or grows it much more proportionally, okay? Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to show you how to orient your, prod, your, your furniture or different things. And the, for that, we're going to use the rotate tool, okay? So just say, because sometimes when you import things, they're not imported exactly how you want it. So just say if I wanted this against this wall of the house, the inside of the wall of the house, well, it's not oriented correctly. So in order to do that, I'm going to use my... Um, orientation tool, and that is where's my orient. There it is. Your rotation tool, and so when I click on this, notice that there are three different dimensions. So if I move it over here, now it turns to black, and then if I move it to the side, it will turn green. Okay. Well, let me show you. So in order to rotate. You want to click on the object once, and then you want to kind of like move to the left or to the right, and then click on it one more time. And then that will allow you to rotate the item on that particular dimension, okay? Now, if I were on a blue dimension, right, which is like the ground, I would click, and then I could click again, and then I can rotate to the left or to the right to turn it, okay? And then if I wanted to, I could grab my orbit tool and I'm gonna to go to the side of it, right? And then I'm gonna go back and grab that rotation tool. And now if I were to click onto the side of it or to use that red axis, and again, I click once and then move to the left or to the right, click again, and then I can rotate on the left or to the right, okay? All right, so with that, um, I hope you understood that. If not, just rewind the video back and do it again and again. And the next video, I'll show you how to put this into the house. All right, thanks for watching.